Hey everyone, welcome to Weed, an unbiased, informative series surrounding social and scientific aspects of cannabis in New Zealand. It is common knowledge that cannabis has been illegal in New Zealand for a long time, so the first question I wanted to address was why is cannabis illegal in the first place? The first thing I did was to Google it. However, Google didn't really have a good answer as to why it is illegal, and therefore I thought I'd look at the history and see if we could piece the puzzles together. It all seemed to begin in 1927 under the reign of Prime Minister Gordon Coates who introduced the Dangerous Drugs Act. This was largely focused on opium use, but also contained cannabis, although not too many New Zealanders smoked cannabis at the time. It was also still available via prescription in products such as chlorodyne, which was used to treat influenza, colds and asthma, and was also sometimes given to children. Later on, in 1961, the United Nations got together at the Single Convention on Narcotic Drugs and decided that cannabis was just as dangerous as opium and other drugs. The Dangerous Drugs Act remained intact until 1975 when New Zealand updated their laws and introduced the Misuse of Drugs Act, which is still in effect to this day. This breaks down different drugs into classes A, B and C based on harmfulness, with A being most harmful and containing drugs such as cocaine, heroin, LSD and other hallucinogenics, B with opium, MDMA and a range of other drugs, and C with BCP, ketamine, a range of prescription drugs, as well as cannabis. And it's also important to note that cannabis oils and edibles are actually class B because of the way that they are processed. Then in 2018, pressure was put on the government to allow patients to access medicinal cannabis and therefore the Medicinal Cannabis Amendment Act was introduced. However, prices of these products were still far too high and therefore in 2019, the government introduced the Medicinal Cannabis Regulations allowing companies to produce cannabis products. This led to a rise of companies including Helios, Canistealth and Brewer Bioscience as well as many others. And that all leads us to 2020, where the UN met again and decided that actually cannabis is not as dangerous as opium and other drugs. And we also had the referendum in New Zealand, where 50.7% of New Zealand voters said no, they didn't want cannabis legalised, while 48.4% said yes. While I know that didn't really answer the question as to why cannabis remains illegal in New Zealand, did you know that 80% of New Zealanders have tried cannabis before the age of 21? and 17.9% of New Zealanders between the ages of 15 and 45 consume cannabis products regularly. This means that one in every five and a half people you know is a stoner. Thank you for watching the first episode of Weed. If you liked it, please make sure to like and follow this channel and check out my website where I have further information surrounding the content. Thank you. See you in the next one.